YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is Saturday, September 9th, 2023, and I hope y'all are safe and healthy. Now, we are not participating in the PTS that is taking place this weekend, so we are just going to continue on with the build videos. And today, we are going to talk about a DPS Bighorn build that is an absolute laser. And we are going to start with legendary gameplay, followed up with the build breakdown. You've got your objective. Don't let anything stand in your way. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that gameplay. Now let's take a look at the build. This does look similar to your standard all red DPS build. Three Providence, one Seska, one Fenris, except we got the exotic Sawyer knee pad knees. For the specialization, we went with the sharpshooter for the added accuracy and weapon handling. And it also has a couple of bonuses for when you're in cover. And this is going to be an in cover build. So you will see why this is important later on. For the primary weapon, we're going with the exotic AR, the Bighorn, and it comes with the talent Big Game Hunter, which says when scoped, switches to semi-automatic fire mode, dealing 450% weapon damage with each shot. Headshots, or headshots grant 2% head headshot damage, stacks up to 50 times once at full stacks, 10 stacks decay every 4 seconds until stacks have been removed. Headshots delay decaying of stacks. And uh, you guys might not uh, know this, but the Bighorn is actually one of the hardest hitting uh, ARs in the game. Uh, so it has that rifle mode and AR mode, which is pretty cool. For the secondary, you guys can run whatever you like here. I've got the Mop Shotgun. It comes with the armor on kill, and I've got the Preservation Talent on there. And it's just for the enemies that get within close range. 
Moving on to our first piece of gear, we are running a Fenris mask, which gives us 10% assault rifle damage. We've got weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and a critical hit damage mod rolled onto this. For the chest piece, we're going with the Providence chest, and this is going to give us 15% headshot damage. And then we've got weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. And the talent we're going with is Braced, which says while in cover, weapon, weapon handling is increased by 45%. For the holster, we want our second piece of providence, which gives us 10% critical hit chance. We've got weapon damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance rolled onto this. Moving on to the knee pads. Now, this is where it gets interesting, guys. For this build, we went with the exotic Sawyer's knee pads, which comes with armor, explosive resistance, and health. And then the talent is stand your ground, which says cannot be staggered by explosives. Um, increases total weapon damage by 3% each second you are not moving. Stacks up to 10 times until you until you start moving. All stacks lost 10 seconds after moving. So you can build up 30% weapon damage by being in cover. And all of our talents are required to cover. So this is just a cover-based uh, build. Now, I will say uh, I use this uh in legendary because they throw those explosive drones like crazy uh now in heroic and other content i would recommend switching back to the fox's prayer uh there's just not as much explosion and i feel like the trade-off is much better on the gloves we went with the seska gloves which gives us 10 percent critical hit chance we've got weapon damage critical hit damage and critical hit chance rolled onto these and last but not least, for the backpack, we went with the Providence backpack, which gives us that third bonus of 15% critical hit damage. And we've got weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and a critical hit damage mod. And the talent we went with is Composure, which says while in cover, increases total weapon damage by 15%. Now, really quick, guys, I want to take you down to the firing range and show you why uh, weapon handling is important. I believe that the stability, accuracy, and the handling on the Bighorn is what turns people away from this gun. And that is kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. So we're going to start with uh, kind of a cookie cutter build. Uh, it doesn't really matter what talent we got here, so I just threw on you know two providence pieces took the uh out of or the in cover talents off and we are going to shoot above the left button you can see the recoil pattern goes up and i'm not touching the stick that's just, that's just drifting upward uh okay now we're going to go switch to the build i just showed you guys and we're going to come back and i'm going to shoot above the right button and you're going to see this thing is just a laser beam Okay, guys, moving on to our skills for the first skill, I went with the Striker Drone. It's a really good distraction, and it really helps to bring the enemies out of cover, allows us to stay into cover and get shots down range while taking advantage of those bonuses. Uh, for the second skill, I went with the Reviver Hive. It's just a great pick-me-up in case I do happen to go down because we are going to be really squishy in this build. It's a all-red build minus the uh, knee pads, but one blue really doesn't do much for us. And taking a look at the stats, guys, we are 59.6 critical hit chance. Uh, I believe we are missing a little bit, which would push us to that max 60%. We are at 162% critical hit damage, uh, 120 base headshot damage. Now, we're going to get 100 from the Bighorn, which is going to give us 220% headshot damage. And then also, this is not calculating the weapon damage you're getting from Composure and from the Sawyer's knee pads while you're in cover. It's also not calculating the weapon handling, uh, which is automatic DPS, because uh, that, that affects your stability, your accuracy, your reload speed, and all that, which directly affects the DPS. So all of that is not being calculated in these stats. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And if you're interested for more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. 
Remember, life's a gift, but it's not always wrapped in a bow. So always stay dedicated and keep grinding. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.